This week on Byron to Bordeaux, brace yourself for the electrifying episode as Richard plunges further into electrical upgrade, only to be met with unexpected surprises that would make a seasonal electrician raise an eyebrow. We bid farewell to our volunteer Maddie with a dinner in Saint Emilion. So what we got here is the, um, the original lighting circuit. See, it's in building wire, so it's, it's so no, thin. Yeah, it's no mechanical protection, so no corrugated over it, protected. And it goes at the moment. I can see it probably go two to two meters that way, just in building wire. Wow! Totally illegal now. Totally illegal. Probably so we'll be ripping years. all this yes. out. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Right, so that goes in and down. So we should be able to see it. Do that. Yeah, to that. Not that, do that. I can just put these in and see. That to me shows it's either goes into the next room or it goes down. This Cairo DNA. Yeah, very, that goes it's down. very brittle. It's plastic, but it's shouldn't be that brittle unless it's no. obviously old. I think you got an old batch. So this is for the light in the BB room, the old one that we're trying to remove. Yeah. We, th we think that we're having problems with um, we're getting some funny readings and we think it's because it's, the, it's a, um, the neutral is, um, what is it again? Yeah, it goes down. Yeah, the neutral's what? Oh, cross. We just got yeah, cross neutral. Cross. Sorry, I can't even think, bro. Yeah, the, we got a cross neutral somewhere. They shared the neutral from... The, the say the left hand side of the yeah. house to the right hand side and we can't find so and i don't want to just cut like once we locate i'd prefer to actually pull it out because who knows what this really goes. yeah so we're just gonna take a little bit longer then which means if if in, in theory isn't it if anything went to if you was that's why the rcds rcds would never work that's right because the neutral's completely crossed yeah because it's all just on fuses this will work but it would have to be a hell of a jolt yeah. to blow anything. Because if we started putting on our RCDs, oh. it would just trip them all the time. Cables are coming through. It's so exciting. These lights are for which, Richard? Oh, there's going to be a vanity light in this yep. toilet here. Yeah. This is for the vanity light. For the toilet moves forward, yeah. Yeah, when we move forward. And that's going to be your um, light switch for the... So, approximately here, here, there's going to be an exhaust fan. Yep. But it's going to be, I forget what he called it, it's one of these types that basically is just going to be, the fan's not going to be there, it's actually going to be mounted to the wall over here. So if we decide to have a bathtub or something like that, it's less noisy. It doesn't mm. exact. So it's a, it, it, it sucks, like you have a bit of flexible dart to the wall, up in the ceiling space. Yeah. Um, a flexible duct and it'll go to a motor there about a metre and a half away then it'll head towards the wall and we've just got to get it to the eaves and I'll just vent all the steam out. I decided to go uh, uh, what was it on? It's about, I don't know, 15, 20 centimetre one because the little, um, we call it a six inch one, is only about that. In this um, size room, bathroom, it wouldn't do it wouldn't do very little, basically. Okay. Whereas a nine-inch one will hopefully suck out all the steam and all that sort of stuff. Hello. All that do is put it on. We just let it fall down the back. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we are. Those those cables there. If you shine it right there, mm. those two there, I guarantee you are the ones here. So we can probably pull that back. So this is the back of the Sorry. BB bathroom. Mm. And we just pulled a panel that John found in the wallpaper. Mm-hmm. And have a look at. We well, haven't pulled the lid off. So of this that. is the panel that they look at to see things. That's right? the bathtub. Yeah. And actually, there's a bit of leaky going on in there too. Mm -hmm. 
But what's good is that we can now find some of this electrical as well as the plumbing. But there's some dodgy stuff going on in there. Yep, so, so you're just doing testing? No, no, we're trying to find cabling. Just mm. trying to get back. We're trying to trace it. We found one of the cables goes through the wall in the bathtub, but to see how it's sitting. So you don't have um, flex sitting on bloody copper piping or anything like that. It's all got to be mechanically protected. Are you a bit old? How old do you reckon? And look, have a look. This is what they call building wire, this brown stuff. That shouldn't be just sitting at and going down into our bedroom there. Mm. So this, this was the Del Not Monte. our bedroom. That no, bedroom. Was covering yeah. it. And look, oh yeah, that's all that was actually on. just covering it. I mean, what's wrong with that? What do you <laughs> That wouldn't be good enough. No, 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 not at all. No, you I think that's... Have a with the brand? Hey, or? Del Monte. Yeah, and I think you've just probably done that. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay. so what I suggest here, if it's okay, it'd be nice to try and get this socket out. Yeah. Yep. 100%. So let's see. I just want to test it first. My test is not, behind you, I think. Isolate it. Yeah. So this is all L&M. Right, so that's... Big, the only thing that concerns me, that's 240 volt there. You just double check that for me, please, Richard. Sure, 99% sure that's 240 now. I think it's the bottom one. That's 240. Yeah. So that's coming down here, feeding across here, and then going down into this switch. And it's also going down into that light switch. The only thing is, I haven't got 240 volt up here. You definitely got 240 volt there. So is it being fed up or is it being fed down? This ah, hang on, there we are. That's what it's doing. I think if we take this conduit out, mm. you'll see that one's the 240 volt that switches these lights. If Can you, with your careful dainty hands, just switch it? Oh no, it doesn't matter, it's off. Yeah. Have you got careful dainty hands, Richard? Well, Absolutely. he's always saying he's got really small hands. <laughs> so that goes they the were... They were on earlier. Were they? Yeah. So should we go downstairs? Yeah, let me just have a quick look downstairs. Mine is tools at the top of that, so I've been moving that ladder in there. Firstly, Dan, we're going to, um, we ran a trailing lead to the, an earth bar, a, a brand new earth that we installed a couple of days ago. So that hopefully will give us a good reading. I've got your needle nose in there. Oh, yeah. oh, you've got Do you mind, you know the, the crocodile clips on the fuse ball? Do you mind just pushing them together just to see if that makes any difference, please? Yeah. No. No. Okay. That's all. I just wanted to make sure we've got that. So we've got the switch one there. Nothing. Because we can't rely on the earth, earthing here, because there is, there's some, but very little of it. A lot of it's not earth, a lot of electrical cabling. We are, um, we're providing our own earth, which has come through here. So what's your plan of attack and how to resolve these issues? Um, bit by bit, we're just gonna physically prove um, we are trace, basically trace where all these circuits are going and because I don't trust anything here now that I've seen it. So some of these in behind you, we're going to look up in the attic to see if they go up. Well, this one does go up. That one there, it goes up. Some we can see because they're service conduit, others we don't, but they're, I think they're sharing neutrals or something like that. There's something not right, but once... And just a reminder, Richard is a professional electrician in Australia, not certified here. Okay. And and he's got John, who's yeah. from the UK, who's oh, another yeah. electrician. Yep, so um, and they're to... using all the safety methods. We don't advise to do any of this yourself unless you're qualified. Exactly. <laughs> this is very dangerous work, correct? Yes. yes. Correct. <laughs> Once we're finished, though, uh, it'll be up to code. Yeah. Aren't you glad you're pulling all the wires out, honey? Oh, yeah. It's scary. scary. I'm surprised that... They didn't have a fire here, yeah. really. Yeah, we'll honestly. see behind you this switch, going back to that switch. Yeah. I'm surprised, as John was saying before, that the plate wasn't um, live. Just be very, very careful. Yeah, I'm careful. Yeah. <laughs> what we've got here 
is some very old wiring. I don't know, it looks like it's cloth. Don't get too close because it's still live. <laughs> and we I love the colour. Nice yellow. At the moment we can't um, work out where it's going. It's going up somewhere into the attic. We'll do something isolated. So this, this is what you pulled That's out? That's pulled out. But see this here, this is where it all ran. It ran across an old door. Just in, I call it flex. Yeah. Just stick 2.5. That's still live at the moment. So also, what's those little things you put on the end? Oh, they're just like connectors. They just protect the ends. Oh, okay. I don't know what, this is in behind the um, vanity here. An old spoon. And if you want, I need to, to brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. I've got that there. It's all ready to go for you. Oh, fantastic. It looks like it's in really good condition. Right. Spares you. But we're getting there slowly. One of the lights we're dealing with. Yeah, just <laughs> don't touch it. Don't touch. Okay. <laughs> Suspense is killing me. Because it's not a hook. It was all that for nothing. Yeah. Okay. Right, so that one comes from the, that's your light switch, that's your mains. Just letting you know we've isolated everything with the main switchboard so nothing's on in the house. Yeah, I got no Wi-Fi. Oh. I know! <laughs> that's the only reason why I'm up here, nothing else to do. We're getting rid of that power point, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I have now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got other rooms to charge batteries and stuff like that anyway. Right, so those ones there, I can see them now, they, they're coming down. So you've got so, a yellow is your switch wire. I like them on the blue. So we go upstairs and have a quick look to see what we've got up there. Got two neutral, uh, two blues. You pull them back out here. Pass the trip. Cool. Right. So after a few days of hard yakka, we've um, installed some new electrical wiring all the way from the main switchboard all the way up ground floor, first floor, second floor. Brand new earth stake which it didn't really have. Basically, we've tested and all that, so basically, come, come this way. We've just done a temporary, it's permanent wiring, but it's temporary fixed. So this switch here will be- Because it's plastic and we don't like No, plastic. we don't see explosions, but just bear with me here. Yeah, so that what? goes up to the attic, yeah. So watch this. So this is gonna be a permanent wiring. So Something the works, the light works. Is that why it's so exciting? It's two-way switching. So turn that one on there, behind you. Okay, that one's down. A light, wow. It's the permanent, so up in the ceiling, what we showed you the other day, all that wiring yeah. that's going through the floorboards. Yeah. That's the permanent wiring. So we'll have eventually two more lights. We're just, we're just doing one light per room at the moment, just so we have something yeah. that's workable. There's and more? Yeah. Works. Oh my lord. Uh, works. So works. the one that's off is the old light. Yeah. And the one that's so on we is still, the new. We can still use the, oh sorry. We can still, we can still use, use the other one, but yeah. we'll eventually be able to. But it's a totally separate circuit. Yeah. So it's got, it's all on, if you look in here, I'll check this out to see if this works after all that. Excuse our toilet everyone, but that's not where the toilet will end up. So that should trip. Yeah. So this one here is just for trips on overloads, so in other words, a surge. That if there's a fault to um to earth or something like that. Mm. So the, in Australia we have RCBOs that are individual, so mm -hmm. they only trip that. But here, eventually when we fill this up with lighting and power, this is the only one that trips everything. So in other words, if there's a fault with either the lighting or power on the circuit, 
on this wall and trip that up. It's a different design, France, but I'll eventually we'll have them all individually. It just makes sense. Excellent. It's not the French way, but it's but uh, what, it's what, about well, it's my, what about my wall sconces? Something pretty? No, no not, not today. But so this, oh, yeah, this light so, so this light here is where it's going to be a bit permanently because there's okay. going to be a corridor here. And that yeah, that's the old with the old wires. You can yep. tell. Walk, very... walk backwards. Yeah. This one here will be so your toilet wall will finish here, oh, yeah, look at that. and this will be above your toilet. And this here, that's just um, J boxed off. Yeah. There'll be a vanity sitting here. Yeah. Obviously, that one you saw behind you is is what it is. Yep. And the ones in the bathroom again. We'll be down. Two lines. different circuits. So this will be on separate circuits, so it won't matter. But these one, two, three will be eventually well, I've already got what the switching. Yep. So it was worth all the mess. Well done. Well done. And it's all safe. We've done all the We're testing. Safe. So does that mean you can start pulling out some yes, of the old Yes, and that's another thing. More importantly, we can start pulling, pulling out, out the old, the old wires stuff. And you've got to make sure that they're out, all out. But the way it's why John and I had a quick look and some weird stuff going on here. Certain lights and power that, was, um, that are connected on this floor but not connected below on that. I don't know. So we're just going to have to carefully remove some of this. So here we go. Okay. But it's all the old fuse system. Good it's work, my love. Thank you. You know that old view about things have to look worse before they get better? Yeah, well, they've pulled out all the cables now in this room. Even the top light switch. As you can see all of it all over the floor. There is no electricity in this room now. Uh, but once they clean up and everything is ready to make the new stuff. I uh, didn't really appreciate all the holes in my ceiling that were freshly patched, but what can you do? Do it again. <laughs> so yeah. Fun and games, lots of rubbish to clean up. Oh, I know what we're doing on Monday, clean up day. Okay. So at the moment they're doing all the testing. So it becomes safe up here. Good morning and welcome back. Today we are cleaning up. We're starting at the attic. Uh, you can see still all the holes in the floor from the electricians. Messy, messy electricians, namely my husband. Um, so we're gonna spend the day cleaning the attic and then the first floor of all the mess left behind. So we've got a nice clean environment for the next stage.
been fabulous so thank you guys and I'll definitely miss this little piece of heaven here. Oh thank you you've been very welcome Emmy you will be sadly missed. Yeah, I will miss Castillo but I'll be back. You'll be back. <laughs> Absolutely. Won't be the last of me. Just wait and see. It's just such beautiful light. <laughs> Going out for dinner. This is our restaurant. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you.